Welcome to our lecture online. So here we're going to talk about random variables and in particular discrete random variables. But before we talk about discrete random variables we should understand what a random variable is. So when I first saw the term random variable it seemed like a very strange term. Aren't all variables random? But that's not necessarily the case because if a variable is a representative, uh, let's say representative of a point on a line, if I give you an x value, the y value is specific to that x value. If I give you a different x value, I have a very specific y value correspond to that x value. There's only one y value that corresponds to each x value, so therefore it's not random, it's very deterministic. Give me an x, I'll give you a y. And it's always the very same y whenever you give me that very same x. But if a variable cannot be predicted as to what it's going to be, then it becomes random. What do we mean by that? Well, if we do some sort of experiment, we don't always know what the outcome will be. It could be anything. Well, anything within the sample space of possibilities. But what it will be at any given time, for example, when I flip a coin or when I throw a dice, I don't know what the value is going to be. I can predict that there's a certain probability it'll be a particular number, but at any given time it can be any one of the possibilities. So, let's read some of the definitions. A random variable is a variable which represents the outcome of a trial, an experiment, or an event. It is a specific number which is different each time the trial, experiment, or event is repeated. You never know what you're going to get. Hmm. Sounds like something I've heard before. You open up a box of chocolates, you don't know what you're going to get. You throw a dice, you don't know what you're going to get. That makes the variable random. So it is called a random variable because its value is the result of a chance or a random event. Again, you cannot predict ahead of time. You can predict the probability of any particular outcome, but you cannot predict the actual outcome each time you do the test or each time you do the event. We cannot determine what the result of any one trial, experiment, or event will be, but we can often predict the likelihood or probability of a particular outcome. So we can figure out the probability. If you throw a dice, you have a 50-50 chance there will be heads or a 50-50 chance there will be tails. But at any one time, you don't know what you're going to get. So when we throw two dice, let's say we get six and six on each of the two dice. Well, if x is the random variable that equals the sum of what's on the dice, then in this case the probability that x will be 12, that we end up with two sixes, double sixes we call it, that's one out of 36. So the probability is one out of 36, it will be that, but at any given time you can end up with two sixes. So, more mathematically we can describe that a variable a variable that becomes, or we're describing a random variable, then a random variable is a variable that becomes a unique numerical value for each separate outcome in the sample space of a probability event or probability experiment. So let's say here is our sample space when you throw two dice. It can be as small as two when you have double ones, or it can be as large as 12 when you have double sixes and everything in between. That's your sample space. You know that each time you throw two dice, you'll get one of these numbers. But you don't know which one each time you throw two dice. It could be any one of them. That's what makes that variable random. And so, that's what we call a random variable. 